So I just finished reading a book called The Silo Series. Well, it's a series called The Silo Series. The book I finished was called Dust. It's the third and final book in the series by Q. Howley. Now, I completely suggest picking up these books. It's amazing. Let me just give a brief uh, description of it. The first book is called Wool, and it starts off, and it's an underground silo. Basically, a silo is usually above ground. But in this post-apocalyptic future, everyone lives under this silo. It's about 150 stories deep. And it's split up with, like, the, you know, rich people living on the top floors, the farms being towards the mids and towards the bottom, and the bottom people being mechanics and plumbers. They get the power all going for the whole silo. Now, when you live in this silo... You see, when you're on the top floor, you can see out windows that show this desolate land of, like, grays and yellows, and, like, everything's dead. And uh, you are never to go outside. According to history, everyone's always lived in these silos, and it is illegal to dream of going outside. In fact, the very mention of saying, I want to go outside, makes it so you have to go outside and clean. So the book, first book's called Wool, and the reason is is because the cleaners uh, use a wool pad, and they're sentenced to death, basically. So they go out, and uh, they when they have to clean, they have to put this suit on that's supposed to help them as long as they can survive out in this horrible, like, what is it, radioactive? I don't know, I'm not going to spoil anything. But you go outside, and you have these wool pads, and you're supposed to clean off the cameras so that the people in the silo can see what it looks like outside and uh so eventually there is there's a mystery going on because there are some people that are very well put together that decide they want to go outside the sheriff's wife because there's like basically one sheriff of the whole silo and there's like deputies that are in different levels his wife kind of goes crazy and she wants to go outside she says she wants to go out to the sheriff it's his duty to make his wife go outside and he's going crazy he, d- he can't believe his wife has said that she wants to go out. So he sends her out to clean. This is the very early part of the book. I'm not spoiling a lot. So after she dies, he starts going crazy. He's looking through all of her computers and through her notes and like everything, trying to figure out what it is that caused her to say that she wanted to go outside when they were pretty happy, happily married. And uh, he starts finding these clues and decides eventually... That, uh, that he needs to figure out why his wife, wife went outside. So that's generally, I don't want to spoil too much. I mean, I could make a separate video where we talk about it, if you read it, um, what it all means, because the book is mind-blowing. Just You could just read the first book and stop at the end and enjoy it. But the trilogy, I say, ranks up there as one of my favorite pieces of science fiction. And I, I don't want to put it like science fiction, technically Game of Thrones is science fiction. And Man, those books are good. But the Silo series is more of like a different kind of science fiction. Um, It's really good. Uh, I compare it to kind of like Fallout. Fallout is this world where there's a nuclear bomb that goes off and everybody lives in these... I think they're called silos. They're called Fallout shelters, whatever. So, But they're all contained in these things, these Fallout shelters, and they have their whole world inside of there until in Fallout 3 somebody walks out of there and then, you know... I mean... Hold on. I know I just made myself sound like a total noob saying Fallout 3 was like the first time people walk outside. I know. Fallout 1 and 2 existed. Too difficult for me. I never beat them. I've heard they're good. But anyways, the whole like experience of Fallout 3 where you're born in this shelter and you're raised in there. You go to school there. You have birthday parties there. And then one day it opens up and it's so bright that then you see this world exists out there. It's really good. Which reminds me of Logan's Run. Have you ever seen the movie Logan's Run? Very cheesy, very campy movie from probably the 70s, mid-70s, but awesome. It's about these people that live inside of, I don't remember what it is that they live inside of, but they, they live there the whole life. And when you're born, you have this, like, some sort of a gem on you that, like, as you age, um... 
you get closer and closer to this color. It's either black or red. But when it turns red, that's on a certain birthday, and you go to Carousel, and you fly around in this circle, and all of a sudden you just disappear forever. Now, uh, a lot of people on Logan's Run, there's these sheriffs, and when people have that thing change and they don't want to go to Carousel, which Carousel in the lore of this thing is something that people should celebrate. Like, you should be excited. Like, oh, I'm going to go fly around in the carousel circle and burst into flames. Um, hooray. So some people decide they want to run away instead of go to carousel. And uh, that's why there's these, uh, like, cops of some sorts that cut and track people down. Until one day, one cop's thing goes off incorrectly, and all of a sudden, Logan's got to run. You should check that movie out, too. All right, talk to you later.